Hello, this is Keo, back with the playthrough of another Eden. This time I'm gonna be pushing through the second Mythos series in the game. The Apex of Logic and Cardinal Scales. Last chapter was just released last month, but I've not gotten around to actually play it. So this is gonna be my blind run from the start to the finish. So let's enjoy this together. The story. Is it the end of the ordinary, or is the beginning of the extraordinary? A foreign intruder foretells the fall of a powerful syndicate. Will they be able to save the young lady who will start it all? The firing pin is set. The shell casings dance innocently. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I wonder what's all that about. So, it actually took me quite a while to find the starting location for this mythos, but basically it's at the cargo station here. Chapter 1 Aldo was asked for directions by a brother and sister who looked like they got along well. After helping them, an unexpected person stops by. I wonder... Okay, so we're here, and the Gamma district is all the way over there. Oh, we got the wrong plate. No wonder we couldn't find it. Oh, thanks, weirdly dressed man. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. You sure you don't want me to go with you? Oh. We'll be fine. Thanks, mister. Whee! <laughs> ah, typical Aldo. I never thought I'd be asked for directions in the future. <laughs> but I actually managed to show them the way. Maybe I've gotten used to this era. <laughs> Coming to the rescue again, are we? Hmm? I know that voice. It's Isuka. You're always such a do good elder. Isuka, fancy running into you here. Shouldn't you be in the IDA? Something's been on my mind, so I left IDEA in charge of the school and came to investigate. On your mind? Did something happen? Yeah. It must be fate meeting you here. I can talk to you, right? I can count on your help in my investigation, can't I? <laughs> oh well, here it goes again, Aldo. Hey, don't put it like that. You don't think I can say no, because I'm such a do-gooder. <laughs> oh, don't pout. I was only messing around. <laughs> it was a joke. I'd be happy to help. So, what happened? You mentioned an investigation. I'm heading to the airport. You don't mind if I fill you in while I work, do you? Uh -huh. Of course not. Lead the way. Quest accepted! Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what's the story of this all meetups is about. We shall go to the airport. Airport. Wait. How do I go to the airport again? Air tube right to the entrance. Oh wait, I think this is the wrong place to go. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm such an idiot. Hold on. Hold on. I was just confused with the direction. Imagine that. After Aldo giving the direction. <laughs> 
Where? Oh. Oh, well, wow. all the way here. Am I going to the right way? Yep. Get the. Come on, come on, come on. No encounter. Ah, oh, crap. Huh, that wasted a few seconds of my life. Oh man, it's such a long way. Hello, Crevo. Is it here? So this is where you wanted to investigate. It smells of burning. Well smelled! This was the scene of an arson. Arson? So you're here to find the culprit? <laughs> I guess that's a natural assumption to make when I said we'd be investigating. But take a look around. Do you see any police? Any news reporters? Now that you mention it, the case is already closed. And the arsonist has long since been caught. Huh? Then why are we here? Why indeed? It was only a small fire. And there was, and there were no casualties. It was hardly covered by the news, and yet, I could feel it. There was someone else, the true villain, pulling the strings behind the scenes. Eh? The true villain? This is what the arsonist say. Before I knew it, everything was burning. I never even thought that I could be the one who set the fire until I was arrested. Until they were arrested? Normally, I would laugh it off as a ruse to look less guilty. That's what the EGPD are doing. There is an... There is a comprehensive... A com... Blah! There is a comprehensive list of evidence implicating him. From fingerprints to access records to his purchase history. But there are too many things in this case that can't be explained. First, there was no motive. He was happily married with two kids. He was doing well at work and he had no previous convictions. I can't find a single cause for suspicion, which seems to be why EGPD chose to treat this as a crime of impulse. But... Huh. Look at these burn marks, Aldo. Those burns are far too intense for a fireproof floor. Sure, special fuels do exist that can ignite fire-resistant materials. It's just... If this was a the-devil-made-me-do-it situation, and he simply couldn't resist the sudden urge to set a fire, then why did he have such fuel with him in the first place? It doesn't make sense! No, it doesn't. I know this MO. The inconsistencies between deliberateness and impulsiveness. The bewildered testimony of the perpetrator, as if they couldn't trust their own senses. Huh. Can't help but think that this is related to the series of cases I have been pursuing my whole life. Oh, that's right. Isuka's. Uh, character story kinda just ends on a cliffhanger. Your whole life? You don't think? Yes, I think Curio is behind this. Curio? I should have known. He did say we'd have our work cut out for us next time we saw him. If he's back, then this case is just the tip of the iceberg. Oh man, this case didn't get a lot of attention and it took 
too long to find out the details. It will be nearly impossible to prove that the guy in jail has been falsely accused. Isuka. However, I will make sure that the truth is brought to light. I will stop you, Kirio. That is my duty as your sister. Onei-chan? Onei-chan, no? I'll help you. Just let me know what I can do. Thanks, Alto. Right. Now that we've finished investigating here, why don't I thank you with a cup of tea? But all I've done is listen to you. That doesn't really deserve thanks, does it? It's fine. The case won't be over until Kira is caught. Well, I do plan to stick with you till the end. I can't exactly leave you on your own now that I know all of this. <laughs> You're such a do-gooder. You really are a rare breed, Aldo. <laughs> There's no need for that, but I may as well take you up on your offer. Hmm, I'm glad to hear it. You don't mind if I recommend the cafe, do you? Are you thinking of the same place you took me before? Yes, the place with the most exquisite gem infused tea. A new road's been built there, so it's really easy to access now. Let's head to Gamma District. Alright. Back to Gamma District. So Furio was the guy on the poster. Um, heading back to Elzion. But Curio joins us. I mean, joins the party as a free character for these Beatles. So he's not really the bad guy, I don't think. You were right. There really is a new road here. The cafe is up ahead. Let's head down this road. Okay. New area. Ah, so now we've got a road. It's nice to have a shortcut to my house, you know. I used to get lost at least once every few days. By the way, where am I now? <laughs> it's lost. I can't walk 10 steps without hearing people talk about that new shop. Something something rose, was it? I like to go there sometimes, but it might be a little too overwhelming for me. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, why are they just eating alone? They have no friends? The heck? Sad and PC, no friend. Oh, pixelated font. Oh, look at this. Layered cakes. Oh, yeah, we've been here before. It's so nice here. It's called Lavia and Rose, a hidden gem. Well known, but to the few. I imagine there'll be one or two devotees among your companions. <laughs> yep, I don't think I've heard the name before. Do you come here often? Because it's pretty far from IDA. I do. There is a great cafe in IDA City too, but there aren't many people who know me here, which makes it ideal if I want to relax a little. Oh. Right, I guess you're pretty famous over there, aren't you? <laughs> Not as famous as you! Okay, shall we head inside? <laughs> oh! Oh! Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm okay! Did you catch it? Honestly, I thought you'd not to run so fast! Sorry sis, I got so excited buying the cake we wanted. <gasps> Alright, the cake! Um, 
If you're talking about this box, I think it should be okay. Why don't you check? Wah! Wow, thanks, miss. Hmm? Wait, aren't you the kid from before? Oh, it's you, the weirdly dressed man. What? You know these kids? We got lost on the way here. He gave us directions. Oh, it was you. It must be a special occasion, I presume. Why would you say that? You went to buy cake in an area you know so little you had to ask directions. You must have really wanted to celebrate. M well, it's my sister's birthday. Oh, what a great brother. Hehe, <laughs> he's the best. Quit it, come on. We better get back to the dorm before our ice pack melts. Yeah, thanks mister. Thanks miss. Those kids must be scholarship students at the law school. Wait, they look so... Scholarships? Scholarships. <laughs> that scholarship doesn't work. It doesn't exist in others' time period. <laughs> scholarship. It's a support system for orphans. IDA school opens its doors to all students regardless of birth. Come to think of it, their uniform did look a little IDX. Uh, so by dorm, he meant a school dorm? <sighs> Can I be honest with you, Aldo? Isuka? I really want to guarantee a peaceful future for kids like them who have their whole lives ahead of them. But I also want to save Curio though, though he is a threat to that peaceful future. Hmm, they contradict each other. I'll never be able to make them both come true. I'm not so sure. It may seem like they contradict each other right now, but I know you can make it work. Anyway, surely it's more like a conflict between the two than a contradiction. I see. Sometimes you have a strange ability to really hit the nail on the head. It's a conflict, not a contradiction. The enemy is within me. Um... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get all melancholy. I pulled myself together. We're on a tea break after all. We should enjoy ourselves. Ah, uh, let's go. Give me that goddamn tea. Oh, now there's a lot of people here. But the guy's having a harem of. Oh, shiny cakes. Cakes everywhere. Mmm. <laughs> Wait, you're allowed to bring swords in here? They'll be all for now. Right away! Go ahead and take a seat. What's the matter, Aldo? I was just wondering if there were any free seats. Oh, that's no problem. I booked from my device while we were on the way here. <laughs> you don't. If you don't book, you can find yourself waiting hours for a seat to free up. Yep, I've been there. Hours? That's mind blowing. With this new road opening up, the cafes started to get more attention. While that is a wonderful thing in itself, it's it's long time devotees are taking the hit. What is the meaning of this? Oh, it's Zed. <laughs> I cannot see today's new dessert anywhere. Where is the quattro food trap? Tart trap. I'm sorry, they sold out on pre-order alone. <laughs> so loud. Then why don't you, why don't you make some more? As much as we really liked you, we're out of ingredients. 
Oh. So when will they be back in stock? Okay, looking at the delivery schedule for the synthetic fruit, two weeks from now at the earliest. <laughs> Shock. She looks like the world is about to end. Oh dear, we can't leave her like this. <laughs> Suzette is just frozen there. <laughs> <In sh> hey <laughs> Suzette, can you hear me? She's frozen in time. <laughs> She's not answering. She's blanked out entirely. <laughs> hmm, there's only one thing for it. What are you going to do? Pulling out cakes? Your time has come! What? <laughs> Servant of darkness, answer my prayer! Oh, what are you doing, Isuka? Take these sweet offerings as hosts and manifest once more from the distant abyss of the afterlife. Awaken, princess of the netherworld. Oh, that does it. I am Suzette, princess of darkness. I have come unto your mortal realm to answer to your call. Yeah, she's come to. <laughs> Isuka just knows how to deal with people. <laughs> what a weird way to wake her up. Huh? Uh, what's going on? Is that you, Isuka? Long time no see, Suzette. And Aldo? Why are you two here? We came for some tea. It's been a busy day. Are you okay, Suzette? That was quite the commotion. <laughs> oh yeah, the new dessert was so loud. Oh, I was so looking forward to it. Suzette, I wanted to talk to you about that. We actually ordered these new desserts a short while ago. And it just so happens that out of the four fruits, two are the ones I don't like. Huh? I'd be so grateful if you could help me eat those two. Y you don't mean... That's right, half. And I'd be happy to give the other two to you. Then you'll be able to eat them all. Um... Free cake? Uh, are you saints? I will never forget this kindness. Oh, that's right. Next time will be my treat. Same day. Someday, I will return to the sacred place and host her, a hermit's banquet, even if the world has perished many times over. <laughs> Lick. <laughs> I look forward to it. Me too. Though maybe not the part about the world perishing. Then why don't we take our seats? The cafe will be getting busy soon. Yeah. Easy cake for Suzette. So good, my evil tongue is satisfied. I'm glad to hear that the fruits are resting in peace. <laughs> the heck? I'm actually really surprised that you two know each other. Indeed? Yeah, you make an odd pairing. There is always more than meets the eye, Aldo. You would do well to remember that. Isokas and my souls have been crossing paths ever since the ancient times. <laughs> oh? What's that, Suzette? Uh, just follow my lead, Isuka. We have to get our story straight. <laughs> no, not that. It looks like there's something caught on the ribbon of your hat. The heck? Honey? Hmm? You're right. Now, when did that... There is something written on it. Will you read it out for us? Okay, what does it say? Let's see now. 
I will be waiting for you in the back room. Wait, could this be? Back room? I didn't think customers were allowed back there. Do you think it's a prank? Although it's pretty elaborate for a prank. Oh, something's up. <laughs> the time has finally come. Let us find out just who it is that beckons me from the world of darkness. Even if it is just a prank, we should take a little peek at Lavi and Rose backroom. Is that really what this is about? I have a bad feeling about this. I vote to check it out. Not you too, Isoka. Fine. We should both set on this outcome too. Right. Now we come. But we come right back if there's nothing there. Let's get going. Let's get moving. Let's mosey. <laughs> Welcome, would you like to try our, our newest item? Oh wait, can I get new items? Oh, I should add Suzette to the party now, now that she joins us. Suzette, 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 Suzette. Where are you, Suzette? No more style, Suzette is... Alright. Nani. Is this really the back room? It's so dark, I can't see a thing. But you were just talking about the world of darkness. The lights are out, that's all. But why? Why during business hours? Hmm? This must be... This must control the lights. Here's the switch. Ah, shit. My eyes. Oh, it's so bright. That was way too sudden. Now my eyes are... Look. Someone's over there. Is that woman facing away from us? What are you doing here? This mena? Well, well, you came after all, Aldo. Sorry for calling you out like this, Isuka. But who is this friend of yours? I am Suzette, the demonic princess. I'm willing to answer my summons wherever it may lead. Ismena, before I ask why you call us here, can I check something with you? Of course, what is it? I'll get straight to the point. How did you clear everyone out of this back room? I thought you knew? Levi and Rose is run by the Luna Bride family. Of course, I took that as a given. After all, the cafe's logo, the blue rose, is also the Luna Bride's family crest. But that's not what I meant. The daughter of the head of the Luna Bright family wouldn't be so self-centered. It's mighty strange, Ismena. I thought you refused to use your family's name. Oh, Isuka caught on right away. Oh, she's so smart. Then the you I know would never use your family's influence to swagger about like this. Who are you? Hey. <sighs> ah, I failed. I didn't realize this his mana was like that. Huh? The way she's talking, is she really not his mana? Then who is that? I have an idea. Didn't you think it was suspicious? Suspicious? 
that the lights were off in the back room. Oh yeah, she was waiting for us in the pitch black. Why would she go to the trouble of staging that? What do you think, Suzanne? Uh, me? me? Um... That's simple. Clearly it was a prank. She wanted to give us a scare. <laughs> Suzanne is so simple. A prank, but it's so childish. Right. It's so very childish. And I can't think of a good reason why she'd go out of her way to hide a message in order to summon us here. Which means, it must be a mere prank. You're kidding! I was right! <laughs> Yay! Or rather, I knew it all along. My evil eye sees through all. A series of seemingly fatuous events. But I only know one person devoted enough to such things. If my assumption is actually correct, then... Oh? This won't end peacefully, isn't that right? Oh, other half of my being. What is that, Curio? You really are a sharp one. I expected you to see through me, but I didn't think you'd be so fast. I'm annoyed that I didn't surprise you though. I would have loved to see the look on your face. Drum rolls, look at the moving tiles. <laughs> but the rush of excitement is always better. So it was you. It was you, Kirio. This guy always was your favorite trick. Get ready for a fight, you two. Wait, not here to fight. Then take off that white uniform. You may be my brother, but... No. It's because you're my brother that I cannot allow you to make mockery of idea. This uniform is a thing of pride. I'm not I'm not taking it off. I am also proud. I'm also proud of my white uniform. What are you saying? I'll start from the beginning. It's like this. What? I don't want to fight you. I came to ask for your help. Music fades away. Huh. I see. At the very least, it looks like you really aren't here for a fight. You sure? But he's Curio. The one you've been pursuing your whole life. Yes, you've got that right. He is Curio, without a shadow of a doubt. However, he seems a little different from the Curio I know. There's something not quite right. It will take a while to explain. Why don't I tell you over some tea? Huh. Aldo, Suzette. Got it. Let's hear his story then. Thanks. Let's go to someplace else. Come with me. Where? Where are you taking us? Oh. Outside? You sure we should be talking outside like this? Right. Now that everybody's clear out, I'll begin. I'm sorry to do this standing. Oh, there's no chair here? Wait a minute. All the customers really have gone. How did you do that? I reserved the standing area for a short while. Oh, this is a standing. <laughs> Using a little of that Luna Bright influence. You reserve it? You reserve La Vie and Rose? You've really made one of my greatest ambitions in life come true. Suzette is just so happy right now. <laughs> oh, don't look so angry. I straighten everything up later. We don't want to cause his manner any trouble, do we? I'm guessing you really don't want anyone else to hear what you're about to say then. Right. That's right. I saw that, Suzette. The cake. The cake just disappeared. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, Suzette. Suzette is just busy munching over there. I'll start with the conclusion. 
Isuka, you were right to feel that something wasn't quite right about me. I am curious that much is true, but I came from a parallel world. A parallel world? Oh, that caught her attention immediately. <laughs> of course, of course that caught her attention. <laughs> That is that is just so in character with Suzette. I love it so much. <laughs> then, did you come from another time layer? You know about parallel time layers? This will certainly speed things up. Do you two know about them as well? Of course I do. It's just a type of netherworld, surely. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say, I've never heard the term before. I could take an educated guess as to what it means though. I would be very interested to know how you interpret it. But we don't have the time, allow me to explain. The basic premise is that this planet has infinite parallel worlds known as time layers. All are slightly different. And no two will be the same. I'm looking at the cake there. I'm looking at the cake. Someone from a far off time layer will be pretty much an entirely different person to you. But the closer you get, the closer your shared histories will be. And consequently, any differences will be limited to the finest of subtleties. For example, one person could entirely switch places with another. Oh, there it is! It's gone! It's gone! <laughs> it took a while. <laughs> the cake is gone. It's all clean up. Ah, uh, rip. Ah, uh, F cake. Like you and me? It's enough to make your head spin, isn't it? But yes, you are exactly right. What do you mean? It's simple. Yura and I are like two sides of the same coin. In his time layer, he wears the white uniform of idea, which means I must. <coughs> huh? What's wrong, Suzette? And that's settled. I want another helping of the tart and cake. <laughs> You're still eating? A servant of darkness is an infinite vessel. I have a devil's stomach, a a dessert stomach. <laughs> uh, it's not what a dessert stomach means. I have a dozen of these here. <laughs> so just nyom away. <laughs> you have an interesting friend there. Oh, she brought new ones. <laughs> The revelry of the narrow world begins now. Eat up. Come on, Isuka. Don't look so serious. Oh, is that a smile? <laughs> You've really helped me. Thanks, Suzette. Huh? Well, I was just trying to embody one of the seven deadly sins. Platony. <laughs> she, she sure doesn't waste any time. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Why did you cross over these time layer things? To come here. It's simple. I came to stop an incident that's about to happen in the near future. An incident? Oh look at the plates also increase on the other side of the table. I did not notice that earlier. But wow. Nice detail there. The near future? You make it sound like you can see the future. Think of it like this. Sooner or later, something is going to happen. If it ha if it's happening in my time layer, but not happening here, then that means it is yet to occur. It is quite like seeing the future. I suppose there's some logic to that. Oh. Now, as I was saying, have you heard of KMS? I mean, we've dealt with KMS. Have we heard of it? What a thing to say! It's the biggest, most powerful conglomerate, conglomerate in the world. It's huge! Most cutting-edge engineering is patented by KMS. The key technology like Xenoprisma to androids to since humans. 
Though the fact remains that there are some sinister rumours about them that don't seem to be going away. Does KMS, KMS have something to do with this thing that's about to happen? To be honest with you, if we leave it be, KMS in this time layer will soon be no more. No, that's not possible. KMS? No way, there's no other company that even comes close. It doesn't have any rival. Oh, I never expected to hear such a pragmatic response from you. How dare you? I'm not an earth dweller like you. I'm from the netherworld. It's not even time for my morning tea yet. Isaka, if you were tasked with bringing about the collapse of KMS, how would you go about it? Assuming this netherworlder wasn't helping you, of course. Good question. There's no real in road, but if push, I'd go for internal collapse. I've heard that KMS is a thoroughly hierarchical hierarchical organization. Our struggles must be a regular thing there. If anything were to happen to someone high up, there would always be someone wanting to take advantage of the chaos. I see. So you'd plan it for when the important ranks are in chaos. <laughs> Though I'd still have no idea what it is I'm supposed, supposedly planning. But to start with, I don't think anything could happen without a disturbance from inside the company. I see. I thought you'd say that. I think the same. Have you got any ideas about who could be KMS Achilles heel? Someone important? Yet open to attack. Hmm. I'm afraid I'm not all that acquainted with the upper echelons of the world's biggest company. What about you two? I, I have so many ideas that I can't just pick one out. I don't know anyone. Actually, you do, Aldo? Sebastian? No, wait, there might be someone. Really? That one of our acquaintances, Sebastia, is actually the granddaughter of the CEO of KMS. But she doesn't actually work for KMS herself, so I guess that's a no-go. What are you saying, Aldo? The granddaughter of a CEO has so much more influence than some humble employee. Who are you? How can you know such a person? Actually, forget the details. Do you think this person could be taken advantage of? Yes, absolutely I do. And they might be in danger. Could you show us the way? Of course. If anything happened to Sebastian, Emmy would be so mad at me. She lives in the Peter district. So, so it's not too far from here. Let's go. Thanks. In the way, Aldo. Curious, join us again! Um, is that? Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I've heard the name Curio before. You're gonna get left behind, so that. Come on. Hey, wait! Okay. Something's up with that. Something is definitely up with that. Oh, Kirio joined. Can I upgrade him? Level 55. Huh. Master Fencer. Upgrade Kirio's light. Um, speed plus 5. So I give you this.
There we go. Level 60. What weapon should I give you? Wait. Hold on. Oh man. Slash type attack. Okay. Win. Um. Wait, hold on. Just take any anything that's free right now. I don't think it matters. Speed. Speedo. Speedo. Any speed badge? Okay. Weapon. I'll give you the ocean katana. Continual region. Dark spirit. Um, don't have any good ones. Wait, actually. I give you the other man type. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that works, that works. Okay, let's go! Sebastia! Sebastian, Sebastia. The Tita District. Let's go! Something's really up with Kirio though. I wonder what's his relation with... Oh wow, Sebastia. Sebastia's house got... Sorry, this elevator is out of bounds right now. Out of bounds? These security measures, something's happened, I'm sure of it. It looks like our hunch was right. You really can't let us in. Um, this elevator leads to our friend's house, can't you? I'm sorry, I really am, but we have our orders. Unfortunately, we don't get to decide who comes through. Oh dear, what do we do now? Wait, Aldo, you're there, aren't you? Where's that voice coming from? Over here! It's me, Sebastia! Boy, am I glad I fixed up my intercom at work on loudspeaker. <laughs> but they're just gonna leave us there? Let us talk freely? Sebastia, you can see us? Of course, it's perfect, perfectly normal these days to use a drone fully kited out, kited out with a camera and mic to guard your own home. Um, that's not normal at all. Anyway, do something about those nuisance EGPD guys, will you? I didn't even ask them here, but they keep loitering about outside, guarding me or whatever. They can't even go for a walk. We're just doing our job, miss. Take your complaints to our superiors, okay? I'm so angry. Don't fob me off like that. I'll have to talk to the administrator, but he won't answer my calls. Must be busy. Uh, so, why don't you guys see him for me? What? Hey, Sebastian, we're not here to work for you. <laughs> if she can make Aldo react that way, this girl must be alright. Uh, Aldo, if you have the channel to the highest authority here, I wouldn't mind taking advantage of that. Why don't we do as she asks and call on the administrator? I guess Sebastian wouldn't ask unless it was important. Okay, let's head to the administrator's office for now. Okay. Go to the admin's office.
Oh, that man over there. Good to see you, Officer Seti. Oh, it's Isuka, Isuka! Be quiet, you piece of junk! You're so loud, they'll hear you in the administrator's office. Hey, it's perfectly reasonable to greet someone you know. You're the piece of junk, a rude old scrap of metal, clock. It's a double negative for a piece of junk to call something a piece of junk. So I'll take it as a compliment. What? <laughs> Where are these ball like robots? <laughs> They're always so lively. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. Oh? Is that you, Aldo? What are you doing with Isuka? I'm as surprised as you are. I never realized you two knew each other. We're a little more than acquaintances. Oh! Kirio, Suzette, this is COA agent. Seti, the bits are retro and clock. The white one's retro, the black one's clock. COA? That's the intelligence service that works for the administrator himself. More or less, yes, I was summoned by the administrator. How about you? Why are you here? Sebastian asks us to come. The EGPD guards have her confined in her home. Sebastian? Oh, you mean the administrator's chest buddy? Will you let us sit in your sit on sit in on your meeting? I imagine you've been summoned here over the same thing. Okay. Let's go to the administrator's office. So now Seti joins us. I will have to add Seti in. Wait, I think I have Seti, right? Seti. Oh, I saw him. He's still level 60. It's you. <laughs> TGPD alone simply isn't enough. Please dispatch COA immediately. Of course, as a friend. I feel the same. I would love to do so. But even my agency needs an appropriate reason to mobilize if it's to be seen offering support to one particular company. We've received a ransom ladder. If you keep sitting around doing nothing, it'll be all too late. I didn't want to have to mention this, but the androids you use are chem S models. My my, bringing out the threats, are we? There I was thinking you were the ones being threatened. It seems that you lose your usual composure when it comes to her. I'm willing to forget what you just said, but... Excuse me, sir. Oh, Seti. Thank you for coming so quickly. A COA agent. And I'll go. Leo? Seems like forever since I've seen you. To think we'll be meeting here again. And who have we here? What a lot of new faces. My name is Leon Grazze, Figaro son. I am I'm an executive at KMS. Leon Grazze as in Leo? From the Sun family? Why are you acting like that? It's only natural to be surprised. The Sun family is one of the three richest families in Elzion. Sun or Sand, rivaling the Luna Brides. Not to mention, he's a huge celebrity. He's the youngest ever executive in the history of KMS. 
so the media absolutely loves him. I've got to get his autograph letter. If you were in the middle of something, we can come back later. There's no need. Is the reason why I called you here. You actually called him here? Why did you say so before? Honestly, don't tease me like that. Well, allow me to explain. A few days ago, a criminal declaration was sent to, ex to our executive committee. I'll leave the details for now, but the main gist was that they planned to kidnap the CEO's granddaughter. Kidnap? And by the CEO's granddaughter, you mean... Sebastian. How credible is this declaration? I had to be blunt, but KMS isn't exactly in everyone's good books. Pranks must be a regular occurrence, surely. You are absolutely right. The company is handling this as a prank, which is why I am looking into this personally. However, it has proved to be completely untraceable. It's too elaborate for a prank. But why would a threat to the CEO's granddaughter motivate you to see to this personally? But that? I've heard the rumors that I'm doing it to curry favor with the CEO. It makes me so sad. It's okay, I know you only tell the truth. You seem reasonable. You are right. It is a rule of mine to never tell a lie. He said it. He said his fan was catch press. <laughs> Suzette, oh my god. Suzette is fangirling. <laughs> Which is why, administrator, I intend to stay right here until you take some action. Very well. Isuka? Yes, sir. I'm putting you on this case as part of your on-the-job training. Team up with your mentor, Seti, and crack this case. On-the-job training? What is he talking about? Oh, hasn't she told you yet? The opportunity never came up. It's exactly as it sounds. I'm currently an intern at COA. Oh. What? What? <laughs> you implied you barely knew him? How could you mislead us like that? I see. So you're at where I was in my life two years ago. At COA, even interns have the right to investigate, provided an advisor goes with them. This actually works out quite well. No one can be upset by COA's involvement if it is just a training exercise. But if it's meant to be training, are we allowed to go with you? Sir, would you be willing to permit everyone here to come with me? Your help will be indispensable in lowering the girl's psych psychological barriers. It's fine with me. I'm putting all the matters of tactics in your hands. So long as your advisor approves, you may investigate as you see fit. You can do as you please. My role here is just to follow you in case anything goes wrong. Thank you, Officer Seti. Let's head to Sebastian's house then. Yay, everyone's coming. This is gonna be so much fun. Bringing pleasures into this will only hinder our ability to complete the mission. Boo! You're such an egghead clock. Incorrect. My head is not remotely oval in shape. Ah, <laughs> uh, those two. Oh, what is this? There's a side quest here. Oh, it said his quest. I have not done this quest at all. I completely ignore Seti's character quest because he's not at 5 star yet. I could upgrade him but I don't want to waste the chance script for it. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's head to Sebastian's home.
we'll see how she's doing. Sebastia, oh, still guarded. Oh man, it's been an hour. There's a lot of talking here. Sorry, this elevator is out of bound. Oh, it's you kids again. Ask all you like, we still can't let you pass. COA has taken over the case. Tell your HQ and await your instructions. COA? Come on. You're clearly just a student. Don't think you can take us for a ride. Um, Seti, shouldn't we help her out? Nah, just stand back and watch. Fair enough. I'm not going to convince you in this outfit. Very well. What? The fuck you change in the middle of the road? I don't have I don't have this style. Oh, I feel so sad. How about now? Oh man. Th that uniform. Here's my ID card. At least two of you should check my registered biowaves for any inconsistencies. Hmm. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Please, go on ahead. Okay. Whoa, COA is almost like nobility around here. Nobility? It's so like you to put it that way. Just make sure you don't abuse your authority, and stick to the mission at hand. Of course, now then, let's make contact with the target. Ah, uh, I want her extra style so much. I got her codex though, I just need one more drop, then I can side grade her. Uh. I don't feel so good. <laughs> she ate too much. <laughs> Are you okay, Suzette? You did eat a, a dozen deserts. That's nothing compared to normal. Oh, you love this castle in the air. I, the demonic princess, would like to know. Uh, where is the bathroom? Where's Sebastia? She's not home. She's gone. Sebastia? Hey, this is no time for hide and seek. Gone? She got taken. Oh no. No response. Do you think she's already been kidnapped? No way! Sebastia! Clock, check the room for biosignatures. Already on it. Biosignatures. Two. Three. Six in total. No other signs of life detected. We are the only ones here. Okay, keep scanning the room. Iska. There has been an incident. We must seal off the scene immediately. Officer Seppi, could you go back downstairs and keep EGPD in your custody? A swift and appropriate decision if I may say, if I may say so. There are key witnesses right now. I'll head up the search for clues as to the whereabouts of the victim. You all heard me. Split up and get looking. Right. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. Investigations section. This music, this is new music. Search the room and collect clues. I get to fuse her. Ah, this is such a tease. I can't see her menu. Of course I can't. 
sure enough, there doesn't seem to be any evidence of someone having gone through the window. However, this could just be the beginning. When examining a window, one tends to be hung up on the window itself. Sometimes hints can shift our focus. The two windows face east and west, and while the sky over there is crimson, it's still blue here, which means that this is east. The west window area by the bed would actually avoid the morning sun. It's so like you to look at things like that. Does anything else stand out to you? Let's see. I imagine you spotted this too, but the room is far too tidy. A little resistance is to be expected with a kidnapping. And yet, there are no signs of struggle, and neither is there any sort of message. The door isn't that close. No matter how quick the kidnapper was, there would be time for some call for help. I think I see what happened here. You got a clue! Yurios in sight! Okay. Check the little off. Oh, I just need to check with everyone. Hmm, what do I do? What's the matter, Aldo? You know how Sebastia said she had a machine flying around outside her house? Well, I thought maybe we should look at the moving pictures it's been taking. I usually know how to handle these things, but I just can't, can't get it to, it to work. This should be a piece of cake. Luckily, it's not in sleep mode, so we shouldn't need a password. And there we go. Now we should be able to see the video from today. Check the video. That's amazing! It really is showing the outside of her house. What are they doing? The fuck are they doing? Laughing? I'm fast forwarding it, so keep your eyes peeled for any sudden changes. Oh, they're just breathing. <laughs> this is fast forward. They're not moving an inch. EGPD really stayed there the whole time. Oh wait. Huh? Iska, that vehicle. The motorcycle? What about it? What? Maybe I'm imagining things. Motorcycle just gone. And that's the end of the recording. Maybe I should rewatch it. Aldo's sent. Okay. Let's check with Leo. Here. It's no time. I know it's for the investigation, but looking through Sebastian's journal certainly requires a little courage. Let's see now. Since I usually sleep during the day. I move my bed so that the sun setting in the west wouldn't disturb my sleep. But I've started sleeping at night again, so the morning sun wakes me up. I wish I could just get rid of that blasted sun. Yep, it sounds about right. That's the Sebastian I know. As for yesterday's entry, hmm. An elevator inspector came even though I never asked them to. They were rattling away at work for ages, but it turns out there was nothing up with it. Now that it's been inspected, I really don't need any EGPD guard. EGPD came yesterday as well? Curious. Keep checking through the journal. Has anything else stood out to you about this case? I'd like to get your perspective. Well, something stood out to me right from the start. I only stayed quiet because I thought it would help my case in persuading the administrator to lend me COA. But don't you think it's strange? A ransom note usually comes after the kidnapping, not before. This was more like a notice, so why send it? It's not like the phantom thieves are around these days. Hmm. The phantom thieves? Nope, it doesn't look like they came through the window. It doesn't open. Nothing is broken. The window frame is pretty dusty and there's no evidence of anyone climbing through. It's too high for even a netherworld being like myself to get down unharmed, let alone on Earth, an Earth dweller. So you didn't notice anything strange? Anything at all, no matter how small? 
strange. Um, when we first got to the room, I did feel a teeny bit unwell. Hmm, that was right after we took the elevator, right? Huh? Do you think I have elevator sickness? One who flies through the red sky of the netherworld cannot possibly be made ill by some flimsy contraption of the human world. I have no doubt that in the vestiges of some dark biasma used by the kidnapper were hanging in the air. Okay. No. Set it. Okay, so here's my summary of the EGPD's testimony I just heard below. It looks like all four guards received their orders separately and had never met each other before. They seem to have nothing in common. They work for different branches, graduated at different times, hailed from different places. But since the ransom note only turned up today, hasty measures are hardly surprising. I wonder if one was the kidnapper and the rest accomplices, but he would have had to win them all over at the same time. I wouldn't want to take that kind of gamble if I was in your shoes. At the very least, this means they would have had to slip past all four EGPD guards in order to kidnap the victim. Precisely. I also received this floor plan of the housing unit. The only entrance to any room is through the elevator. There is no other way into the rooms. The elevator is the old style, with a round rotating floor and one exit that connects to each room. The exit to elevator is on the south side of the building, but that's where EGPD stood watch. Judging from the clock's scan, it's pretty much a perfect locked room. It's three stories high, with two rooms on each floor, one to the north, the other to the south. They are symmetrical about the elevator. There are a total of seven rooms, including one in the basement. All are reserved under the name Sebastia's Setus. However, according to the elevator records, none of the rooms are in use, barring this one at the basement. I guess she didn't want anyone else living in the same building as her. I really don't get the rich. Thanks everyone, you really helped me out in finding these clues. You're done? Are you sure, Iska? Yes, let's wrap up. Yurio, how do you collect your thoughts at a time like this? Don't try to be original. For the time being, just consider what you need to be thinking about. What do you mean by that? For example, have you ever heard the expression wooden it? It originates from detective novels, a genre where the fun is in trying to work out who did the crime. There's also a variety of other terms such as why done it and how done it. You can use these to refine your thoughts to indicate what is suspicious and what you need what you still need to know to solve the crime. How oh, interesting. I'll try to bear that in mind. Well now, are you ready, Aldo? <laughs> Why me? <laughs> you were thinking the same thing, Isuka. There's something about Aldo that reminds me of the assistant in the classic Detective House series. There were too many spin-offs for my liking, but the original house was a staunch theorist with a somewhat naive assistant. Hey, are you calling me naive? Oh, don't be angry. He sees things that House doesn't. They're the perfect tool. And it's not like we can see the answer right from the start. Best thing to do here is to reveal the case through your eyes. Okay, but I've never been an assistant before. It's not a problem. All you need to do is answer my questions. That that's, doesn't sound too bad. Okay, I'll do my best. Oh no. 
answer the question based on the clues you've collected. You can try again if you get the wrong answer. Okay, firstly, let's establish the basics. When did the culprit kidnap Sebastian? Um, before our visit, while talking to the admin, while investigating the room. She's still in the room. Check clues. Asuzette. <laughs> I like it. Asuzette. Before our visit. When was she kidnapped? Let me check the clues. Hmm. Strange. When we first got to the room, I did feel a teeny bit unwell. That was right after we took the elevator. Hmm. Is it while we? Hmm. Leo. Aldo set his information. Machine fly outside. Okay. That's the video. That's the changes. That doesn't help me. The end of the recording. Uh curious insight. When? When was she kidnapped? No signs of struggle. Door. Set his information. All four received the order separately. Okay. But if one was kidnapped, uh, accomplice of the kidnapper. Um. Sleep past all four. But they were there the whole time. Through the elevator. Is it is it happen did it happen while we were riding the elevator? None of the rooms are in use. Hmm. When was she kidnapped? While investigating before our first visit, while talking to the admin, she's still in the room. Oh, is she still in the room? Ah, Suzette. Wait, let me check. Uh, Leo's opinion. Okay. Let's see. Sleep during the day, move the bed so that the sun setting in the west wouldn't disturb my sleep. Hmm. Elevator inspector came through. 
there's nothing up with it. that's confusing before our first visit I can't say that she's not kidnapped before our first visit when we came here the first time she talked to us through the intercom but who's to say she's already uh, she's not in her room at the time right while talking to Edwin while investigating the room okay this I just click this one. This is what we know so far. Let's just assume that she was in her home during our first visit. So when we visit the admin, she got kidnapped. Right. That seems to be the most likely at the moment. Yes, at the moment. But we still don't know. She talked to us through the intercom before we went to the administrator office. And ever since we all came back together, we've had no communication with her, not even via the intercom. It's a valid conclusion for our first point of doubt. On to the next question, from where did the culprit kidnap Sebastian? Secret escape, wormhole, window, elevator, okay. I'll only... Ele the, the elevator is the most suspicious now right since the only entrance to the room is via the elevator we have to assume that's how they came in and out but doesn't that mean they managed to evade the EGPD surveillance and the drone video the important thing is to not be biased don't be influenced by the other information I understand your feelings, but you need to detach yourself from them for now. Okay, next question. How did the culprit kidnap Sebastian? Intimidated into silence by force with the guard on before she had time to realize. Yeah. With her guard down. How was she kidnapped? By force? Intimidated into silence before she had time to realize. If they caught her unaware and gave her some kind of tranquilizer, they would have been met with no resistance. But in this case, the only entrance is through the elevator and that makes a fair amount of noise. And in such a such stressful environment, it's hard to imagine that she would have been able It's hard to imagine that she would have been too absorbed in her work to hear. Hmm, okay, I'll try again. Okay, that's the wrong answer. How was she kidnapped? With her guard down? That could be possible. Really? I wasn't very confident in that. <laughs> Wouldn't your guard be down if you saw someone you knew? It's the same thing. That makes sense, but if the culprit was someone she knew, doesn't that put you under suspicion? That's nothing to worry about, Sebastian always has a guard up around me. Ah. There was no need to be on guard, if there are other cases like this. Let's get to the crux of the matter. The next question is... Who is the culprit? But how can you expect me to know that already? There's nothing to worry about. This is but an extension of what you've been doing so far. I is it? Well, I'll do my best. Now, who is the who kidnapper? The culprit is EGPD. The culprit is me! The culprit is Leo. The culprit is Sebastian. is EGPD. Leo, Sebastian, me. Yeah, it would make sense if EGPD kidnapped her. 
but the four EGPD were completely random guards who just happened to be free at the same time. Did one win over the other three? Then and there? No, they would be far too risky. It's a convenient idea but it doesn't seem very practical. I guess so, I'll try again. Sebastian? Is it Sebastian? <laughs> oh, you're quite the flexible thinker coming up with such a theory. If she did leave on of her own accord, there would be no need for her to be on guard or anything. And she has motive, living under surveillance stress her out enough to yell. Why don't we summarize our deduction so far? It might make things clearer for us. Um, it happened while we were talking to the administrator. They used the only exit, the elevator, not the door of darkness. <laughs> and there was no need to lower her defenses somehow, right? Right. Not if she left of her own accord. I don't see any problems with our theory so far. And yet, there is fundamentally and decisively contradictory information standing in our way. The EGPD testimony and the drone footage. One, you could maybe get around, but not both. So no one went in or out. Actually, then everything we've worked out work out up until now was just a waste of time. No. Warming ourselves by the fire of straightforwardness has brought suspicious information to light. This is the critical moment, the key to unlocking this contradictory information. What is the key to unlocking the contra contradictory information? The drone footage, Sebastian's journal, clock, back of a city human. <laughs> Ask Suzette. <laughs> <laughs> it's the drone footage. The drone footage supports the EGPD testimony and the EGPD testimony supports the drone footage. But Aldo, you spotted something in the drone footage. Yeah, it could have been my imagination, but I thought I saw something in the recording that should be impossible. Doc, would you check the access log just in case? Understood. Loading video data. Check complete. This is evidence of video editing. There's evidence. What? Looks like you notice the key to getting to the root of this case. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, that vehicle disappeared into thin air. check it over and over but that vehicle keeps keeps disappearing then reappearing a few seconds later looks like yesterday's video was edited over today's yesterday's but the EGPD are in it that was for the elevator inspection she mentioned in her journal that EGPD were keeping guard remember they must have used the inspection as an excuse to record their replacement video ahead of time. I see, and Sebastian used that time to run away? So they prepared a fake video, swayed the EGPD, made them give a fake testimony, and escape. No, wait, it's not for certain yet. Sorry to interrupt. I have bad news. The victim has been sighted. Victim? You mean Sebastian? Yes. She was seen on Route 99. Hurry, prepare the hoverboards. Yes, sir. Oh, Leo's fast. No, wait. That isn't the real Sebastian. She may not be in this room, but she hasn't left the building. She hasn't? 
so late. I think he realized that he had ran off anyway. Our conclusion so far was fake. It was just to help lead us to the true criminal. What do you mean, fake? The elevator inspection wasn't just to make sure the EGPD were caught on video. It was done as camouflage. How could you possibly know that? We just followed the breadcrumbs. For example, the video editing was exam inexplicably crude given the elaborate nature of the plan, which means it was intended to be noticed. Additionally, it should be near impossible to win over all four EGPD guards, but it's easy enough to challenge that assumption, so we know that they must be too charming to turn down. Even so, we first observe all information from an impartial perspective. Then the answer will show itself to you. The victim didn't necessarily leave during that period of switch video. Then where did Sebastian go? It was Suzette who led, led us to the truth when you entered the room. Uh, I don't feel so good. Are you okay Suzette? You did eat a dozen deserts. There's desserts. It's nothing compared to normal. Oh, ruler of this castle in the air. I, the demonic princess, would like to know. Um, where is the bathroom? <laughs> Your nausea. What? If it was a simple matter of eating too much, it certainly came at a suspiciously unlikely time. If we assume it wasn't that, the only other possibility was the elevator with the rotating floor you had just used. But what's so strange about that? Didn't Curio said that this bed was to the west? The room rotated? Which means this room is on the north side. The entrance to the building is on the south side. And therefore, the elevator must have rotated half a turn from south to north, the elevator rotated. So the sickness was because of the elevator spinning. Surely there's nothing strange about that. There's something else you need to remember. Sebastian's journal said that I've started sleeping at night again, so the morning sun wakes me up. The morning sun. Wait. That doesn't make any sense. The bed is on the west side. The morning sun shouldn't be, shouldn't hit it. Unless she rearranged her furniture yesterday. This room we've been investigating is on the north side, but Sebastian's room is actually the room on the south side. Clock. Can you put the elevator back to normal? No problem, Sati. Jeez. Sebastia! She's there, sleeping. Looks like she was put to sleep with a powerful sleeping gas. So we're looking for a sleep inducing device that the occupant would never notice. On it. It's a sprinkler device that can be controlled remotely. Must have been installed when they changed the rotation settings during the fake elevator inspection. And they put Sebastian to sleep remotely while we were in the administrator's office. But someone who's never been here before might never notice something that might seem obvious to the resident. I didn't notice, and I've been here lots of times. The rooms look exactly the same. But why would the culprit use such a runabout method? It certainly doesn't look like our Sebastian's been taken. But if she's here, then who did they see on Route 99? Ah, uh, I finally understand. Uh, the true culprit's target was Leon Grance Figaro-san all along. Uh? 
superior. Do you do you think the two cul- the true culprit is is it? There's no point in discussing it here. You can find out yourself soon enough. We must follow them and head to Route 99. Officer Seppi! What's on your mind, Iska? If someone else would disregard their own safety and rush to Route 99 if they believe the best to be here, be there. The CEO of a KMS unit. However, now, now, this is just a hunch based on little more than personal feelings, but I think the person waiting on that abandoned road is someone that I must face myself, which is why You want your superior to abandon his trainee for no discernible reason? I'm gonna get a pay cut for this, you know. Fine. I'll head to the camp SEO. Thank you. But this is a big favor you're asking. I'll be expecting you to pay me back when you're an official member of COA. Of course. Alright. We'll look after Isuka for your city. Can we trust Sebastian to you, Suzette? Wait, Suzette's not coming? Certainly. I'll head to you once support comes. The Route 99, quick! Let's go! Hello? It's me. Not so loud. Are you free right now? Who are you calling? I've got a VIP to keep an eye on. Come back. Come back me up if you want to score some brownie points. Oh. Oh. Is it who I think it is? Wait, they're still there? Guarding? Sorry, this elevator is out of bounds right now. Oh, there was a very lengthy scene. Oh, then. Route 99. Wait, I could just... I could just use... Do this. Route 99. Oh, from A. I can't directly go to there from the map. I have to exit from the town. <laughs> this is the end. It was quite a lengthy scene. Okay. All the way to the other side. Okay. Wait, Suzette's not supposed to join. <laughs> ah, never mind. This is the end. The last part of chapter one. Who are you? I have a strange feeling that it's... It's her. There you are. I was looking for you. Stay away! They'll kill you! Don't you worry about me. I know how to take care of myself. Get rid of the bits now, or the hostage gets it. I see how it is, but there's something I really want to say here. You've been foiled! Stormtrooper? They're not hitting? Anything it hits is how it What? Wait, did it actually hit? What were you thinking? Are you out of your mind? You could have hit me! It's okay. They're just electroshock bullets. Besides, I would never have hit my Sebastia anyway. 
It sure didn't seem that way to me. What if they managed to avoid it? You would have been in danger. No, I never would have hit my Sebastian after all. Neither Sebastian nor the kidnapper is actually here. Uh. It's a Sith human. Always a Sith human. When did you realize? Before I came here, though I never checked myself, she was in the next room, wasn't she? Why would you come here if you knew it was a trap? Don't play dumb, it was you who used my rule of never lying to lure me out here on my own. Well done. I suppose we wouldn't be in this situation if you hadn't worked out that work all that out. But there is just one thing I don't understand. How did you know about that promise? Pretty much everything inexplicable about your actions can be explained on the assumption that you knew about the promise. The fact that your ransom note came before the actual kidnapping, for example. That doesn't seem so strange if your plan all along was to use that to lure me out specifically. You are correct. I never needed to take her hostage. I heard about your promise on the other side. Your wedding ceremony was broadcast live throughout Elzion. Oh! Wow, they actually got married in the, in the parallel world. When you were young, you told her that you would protect her from all danger with your own two hands. Oh, that explains it. If I was going to make my promise public, that would be the only time I'd do it. So even though I was your target, once I knew that Sebastian was in danger, you had to come here, and come here alone, in order to ensure that you could protect her with your own two hands. So, have we cleared that up? Because it's time to fight it out. Let's find out who wants this more. Just so I know, what do you want here? Yep. Why bother telling you? when you will soon be dead. Oh shit. Oh no. Hemis! Nice. Ah, there you are. We've arrived. I'm so glad you're okay. Hey, Sebastian? No, it's just a disguise by the one behind the fake kidnapping. Another disguise? How many people are there that can do that? It's not all that surprising, really. In a sense, there is only one who can since she and I are like mirror images of the other. Mirror images? Didn't you say something like that before? There is no mistaking it, she is. You are... Indeed, Iska Cherry. I am another possibility of yourself. Iska Cherry? <laughs> I knew it. I saw this right from the start. That if another curio would come here, would come here, another, another me possibly wouldn't be far behind. This is Iska meet Iska. But... 
But why would the Isuka from another time layer would want to destroy KMS? That I do not know. The only thing that's certain is that Kyrio came here in order to prevent the collapse of KMS. And if the me from their world was the one behind all this, then Kyrio must have known this right from the start. She's right, but I couldn't say anything as I was worried it would cause too much confusion. No, it's because you have a kind heart. You knew it would hurt me, that's why you didn't say anything. And that's why I'm here. I'm well aware that the me from your world is the same as you from this world. An international criminal. Oh shit. I am so ashamed and sorry to say. She is a cross time layer terrorist. <laughs> this is getting tedious. I had assumed you would exist. And I had assumed you would team up with Kirio and have the audacity to stand in my way. Iska, I came here to stop you. It's not too late. Let's stop this and return to our town time layer. You're telling me to go back empty-handed to a time layer just waiting to disappear? What a cruel thing to say. Waiting to disappear? What do you mean? There's no need for you to know. Anyway, I came prepared. I know how you are. Those who are strong against pain to themselves are often weak against pain to others. Oh no. Are they from Elzion? Do you like my soldiers? I tamed them myself. They are all free of sin with dull happy families awaiting them in Elzion. The power to control others. Isn't that? It's the final phase of the program Kyrie and I went through. It forces its way into the target's mind and incites them to do things, regardless of whether they want to or not. Regardless? Please, I'm no psychic. I couldn't possibly get them to disregard their own feelings like that. <laughs> they want to. They have all this pain and sorrow and I understand them. Just a little, I let them lean on me. And that creates a real bond, you know? Friends would do anything for each other, that's all there is to it. You disgust me. How can even one possibility of me have such foul thoughts? <laughs> I will not take this from a version myself that was brought up on a bed of roses. Now, awaken to the pleasure of trampling upon courtiers, to the corruption poisoning eternal paradise. That man coveted your blood, sweat and tears. Bring down the hammer of justice upon him. Oh no, Leo. No, Leo, run away. I wouldn't recommend that. They will chase you to the ends of the earth, heedless of any danger to themselves. What? Um, so they follow him jump. I'm done for. If any harm comes to them, I will lose my position for sure. It's simple but effective. <laughs> so he's so, he's so blase about it. Oh no! What do we do? Give this to me. Please, listen to me, instant citizens. You're wasting your time. You're being manipulated. Try and remember your loving families awaiting you to come home. Use the power of friendship and family. family. Uh, some guy. <laughs> They're coming to you? Does Iska have the same power? Kyrio. I'm on it. 
There's nothing to be gained by hurting others. You are his friends, fellow citizens on this floating continent. Wake up! Ting. Oh. Hmm? What am I doing here? Um. Where am I? Mommy. They've come back to the census. Good job, you two. We're not there yet. There's no way you're not thinking what I'm thinking. It's got to be somewhere. <laughs> I'm afraid you're too late. Is bad curio here? Go on. Let loose. Oh no. He was. Oh sh. <gasps> Oh my god. This oh my god. Holy shit. They made a child. Leo. Huh? What did I D did he fall? I contact Sid Hadrine. It's no time to contact anyone. You can't save him from this height. It was a bit of an anti-climax. I was expecting something a bit more entertaining. Is that Kyrie? Fuck, it is Kyrie. Right, Isika? Kyrie! Kyrie? The one from this time layer? <laughs> we meet again, Aldo. It must be fate. Well, it looks like we've seen to the main contender for the next CEO position. There's no reason to stay here now. Let's move on to the next phase of our plan. Have you learned your lesson yet? Just return to your own time layer. These soldiers have served their purpose. They can go back to their lives now, just as you want it. Oh shit. Wait, Isuka. Let's go, Curiosity. Coming, Isuka Cherry. Oh, how's that for name? Why is so fast? It's Karyot. Oh no! What an ending! Oh. This is cool. It's Kacheri. Ah, uh, this is just the beginning. There's like uh, four more chapters. Oh man, I'm so excited to find out what happens next. It sounds really nice though. <laughs> the end was the Bye you! Oh, it's her. Holy shit. Oh, she controls all those suits even. What are they planning for? Oh no, Mayu! Studio. Phew, they've blacked out, that's all. Looks like they've gone. Is that Leo? Is that? Oh yes. Suzette! 
So that it's Sid Hydra. <laughs> There's no need to worry about that man. He had fallen a fair distance before I caught him, but I was able to maximize the impact using an anti-gravity device. The stab wound wasn't dead, the crew medic is taking care of it. <laughs> is that? Did you call him? No, I just came along for the ride. <laughs> Who could deny a polite request from a young lady? Certainly not a gentleman battleship like myself. I am Sid Hydra after all. What, is it Sebastian? Or is it Suzette? That all. Do you mean Sebastian? Who'd have thought she'd be the one to save us? Sid Hydra, was it? He certainly, he certainly is an impressive acquaintance to have. Right. Indeed, we were saved by all those friends here. This, is, well, this was one narrow victory, won purely by an unexpected bit of luck and by holding the vantage now. We won because we had Aldo at his connection. We would have lost on our own. We will have to do better next time. You're right. Our enemy was more powerful than I had imagined. We cannot drag the others into this anymore. This isn't their fight. Wait one moment. Who says this isn't our fight? Yeah. You haven't dragged us into this. We're here of our own volition, so don't say things like that. You're not alone here. <laughs> Flick. <laughs> That's so like you. Yes, I'm a do-gooder. Remember? It's Thank you, Aldo. Suzette. But there can be no more secrets. You knew about the other Isuka, so what else do you know? Tell us what the other Isuka meant about your time layer waiting to disappear. Just what is she planning? I will tell you, but first, we should prioritize the safety of these innocent civilians. Oh man. Let's get them back to safety. Complete. Yes, I guess that's chapter one done. Oh, oh, I have to say this is this is so interesting, but it's like two hours of cutscene. <laughs> Curio has joined as an official member. Yep. Oh man. Oh, there's more. Are you sure it was right to let him leave? It was easier it was easier than killing him, that's all. Be prepared to sacrifice anything in order to achieve our aims. You aren't having second thoughts about our oath, are you? <laughs> Not at all. You truly are my mirror image, alright. Man, we'll see where the next chapter brings us. I'm so excited to find out. Oh, wow. Yurio has joined your party. Yes. Okay, learn the black clad sword, man. Real name. Let's check the menu. Because I have her on my, on my list. What's her real name? Isuka. Still the same, Isuka? No more black clad swordsman. Well. We will find out next time. I'm going to end the video here. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. 